Hello guys, welcome to our online class on ICT. In our today's class, we'll be looking at the punch cards, the bodus, the computer and the cash register. My name is Justice Bartolome Abasi. We'll be dividing this class into two parts, part one and part two. In the part one of this class, we'll be looking at the punch cards and the bodus machines. What is a punch card? Punch cards, also known as punched cards, hollerate cards or IBM cards, are paper cards in which holes may be punched by hand or machine to represent computer data and instruction. Before now, punch cards are widely used means of imputing data into early computers. The cards were fed into a card reader connected to a computer, which converted the sequence of holes to digital information. Punch cards hold up to 80 characters of data encoded as small rectangular holes. For example, an early computer programmer would write a program by hand, then convert the program to a series of punch cards using a punch card machine. The programmer would then take the stack of cards to a computer and feed the cards into a card reader to input the program. Pictured below is an example of a woman using a punch card machine to create a punch card. History of punch cards Punch cards are known to be used as early as 1725 for controlling textile looms. Mary Joseph Jackford Use punch cards to create a self-portrait woven in silk. The cards were later used to store and search for information in 1832 by Simon Kosakov. Later in 1890, Herman Hollerith developed a method for machines to record and store information on punch cards, and this was used for the American census. He later formed the company we know today as IBM. IBM stands for International Business Machines. How did punch cards work? As you can see on the screen, the picture on the left is a clear example of what punch card looks like. And the picture on the right is an example of a woman using a punch card machine to create a punch card. Now, using a punch card machine like in the picture shown by the right, Data can be entered into the card by punching holes on each column to represent one character. As you can see on the screen, there are two YouTube links. The first link will take you to a video that explains the technology and the programming behind punch cards. And the second link will take you to a video that will demonstrate how punch cards are produced and uh, created now when you are copying the links i want you to note the capital letters and the small letters and the symbols that are included in the links this will help you to locate the right video and also for you not to receive error message the burros machine what is the burros machine the Burroughs machine was manufactured by William Seward Burroughs in 1892. The Burroughs machine is a class of mechanical calculators, usually specialized for bookkeeping calculation. Bookkeeping calculation here refers to recording of financial transactions. The Burroughs machine at the time of its invention saved time and gave accurate calculations, and with time, it continually developed into more complex machines like electronic billing machines, electromechanical calculators, and finally, the electronic calculator. Also, as you can see on the screen, there is a YouTube link. This YouTube link will show you how Buddha's machines are used to perform arithmetic operations. Now, at this point, we can summarize what we have learned as follows. Punch cards are paper cards in which holes may be punched by hand or machine to represent
computer data and instruction. Punch cards are known to have been used as early as 1725 for controlling textile looms and in 1832 for storing and searching for information and in 1890 for the American census. Punch cards hold up to 80 characters of data encoded as small rectangular holes. These data are fed into a card reader connected to a computer which converted the sequence of holes to digital information. The Boros machine was manufactured by William Seward Boros in 1892. The Boros machine is a class of mechanical calculators usually specialized for recording of financial transactions. In our today's exercise, I want you to answer the following questions. 1. Who invented punch cards? 2. Is punch card an input device? Explain your answer. And finally, briefly describe the bonus calculating machine. Thank you for your attention in this class. I'll be looking forward to seeing you in the part 2 of this class.